folks, it's Nessa here from Infinitely Zero's channel. So just wanted to do a quick video to show you some of my recent projects that I've been working on, as well as some projects that I just finished as well. And then also thank you for, um, I wanted to show one of the presents that I got recently uh, from one of the giveaways that I won. So yeah, so, um, I wanted to show this. I, I know I had mentioned it, but I hadn't shown it in a while. So I just finished this uh, a few nights ago, last night, I think. And this, this um, it's from Hirschner's. It's a baby blanket kit called, called Bewildered Baby Blanket. <clears throat> and I've shown the, the kit on previous uh, video of mine when I bought it. Um, and I was trying out the yarn. I haven't woven in the ends yet, so that's what you see in the back part. But anyways, so it came out to around 46 inches. It's kind of hard to show things when, they're, when they get this big. So it, it came in one of these bags with the pattern. This is what I have left over of the yarn. I didn't particularly meet Gage and I had some issues with the pattern, so I had to talk to Hirschner's. They mentioned that nobody, that other people haven't, haven't had issues or complained about the pattern, so maybe it was just me. Um, so I had to frog a bit of rose. And then uh, I ended up doing my own thing from here on out to finish it. But I think it came out nice. And it was the first time using this yarn, which was the Hirschner's two-ply baby yarn. It's really nice and soft, and it's, uh, if you see, it's a little thicker than your usual two. It's almost like a light three. But yeah. So this is what it looks like. I know, it's covering my face. So yeah. Um, I mean, it's really pretty detailed work. I, I like the stitch work with it. So maybe I just misunderstood certain parts of the pattern, but yeah. And my stitch work came out a little bit bigger than what the gauge was for the blanket. So yeah, so I wanted to show that. Actually, I can... Lay that back here. Hopefully it won't be too distracting while I do the rest of my show. It'll give a pretty backdrop. I know it's not perfect. I know it's a little wrinkly. It's okay. It's okay. It's not going to stay there. So yeah. So I had mentioned that I had bought the hipster cotton to make this top. The video that I showed earlier in the week, that was pre-recorded a week or two ago. So I didn't, I didn't finish the top in two or three days. <laughs> it took me like, like a week or two to make the top. Um, so yeah, so this uh, pattern is available for free on Premier's website. It's, um, I think, called the Tulip Cardigan. It's like the Tulip Stitch. And I did it with a five millimeter crochet hook, the H8, and the Hipster Cotton yarn. Yeah, I already put away the yarn. Um, I talk about it in the unboxing video. So that's how it came out. I decided to add its own border in the front. And it looks really nice on me. And this is, and it's like short sleeved. That's what the back looks like. I was gonna wear it, but I, I didn't, I didn't put it on. Maybe in a different video I'll wear it. I haven't worn it yet, so. So yeah, I think it came out really nice. That's how the stitch work looks close up. And if you wanted to see that, sorry if I'm moving too fast. Hopefully I'm not making anybody dizzy. So yeah, so 
those are my two recent finished makes. Um, figured that was like a nice piece for like starting fall, fall colors, but maybe if it's not cold yet, so I could still wear it in the summer too, and goes with a lot of different colors that I usually wear. Um, next, I had shown that I was working on this blanket. This is a Mary Maxim kit from um, Bago de Crochet Crystals Pattern. It's called Beauty Runs Deep. She has a free video tutorial for the pattern as well, so you don't have to buy the kit, but the kit comes with the pattern in a nice um, plastic zippered um, storage bag, clear one, and it comes with the yarn too. I had picked purple, but then I decided that that purple was too close in tone with the blue. I, I, I explained it in a different video. So I decided to switch it to this dark blue and this dark blue is actually the Hirschner's Worsted, Worsted 8 colorway Midnight. The other yarns are the Mary Maxim, their best, the Mary Maxim value yarn that come in like larger balls. So this, this is what it looks like so far. The stitch work is really pretty. Sorry, that was, yeah, that's the way it goes. And, um, yeah, because that's the bottom. Of course, I'm still working on it, so I haven't woven in the ends. So I have a good amount done. I have all, all this done. And it's pretty wide, too. Ooh, I'm still attached. So I'm going to measure it soon. I think I, st I still need a bit more to finish, but it's, it's getting there. I'll show it again when I finish it and put a nice picture of it all finished, but I think it's beautiful. Once you see the video tutorial and you get the hang of it, I, I find it very pleasant to stitch up. I, I really like this pattern. I would actually make it again, and there's not very few things that I actually am okay with making more than once. Um, so yeah, and it's nice and warm too. Now, especially that it's gotten bigger, it's like, oh my gosh. Um, I had shown this on the channel, which is a Hirschner's kit. It was the chrysanthemum, something like that. It was called the pattern. Um, and it came with the yarn and everything, but this, and that was orange and an off-white and purple color. And I had talked about how I was changing the colors to do a present for someone for Christmas. So these are the different colors that I had picked to do the pattern with. And this is my progress so far. So the top is pretty cool. I've never done those stitches like that on the top. The other ones I've done before. Um, and this is the mini bean stitch down here, but yeah. And that's their heathered yarn, which is really pretty. That's in Teal Lake. This is Joanne's Big Twist Soft Gray. And then this is the Hirschner's Worsted 8 Jade Colorway. Um, so yeah. So I think that's coming out pretty nice. I have other stuff I'm working on, but it's not readily right next to me. <laughs> so I wasn't planning to show it for this video. And then I wanted to give a special thanks um, to Michaela, to Michi from Michi's Crochet Nook. So I won this, it actually finally arrived today. It's a Stanley muffin cake. There we go, Stanley muffin cake. And it's one of the Christmas colorways, so I wanted in her members giveaway. Um, thank you so much, Michi. It was really nice of you. And I believe she bought it on um, Brenda's Etsy shop, which is called Brenda's Knots and Loops. So she has plenty of beautiful Stanley cakes there for sale. Sorry about the crinkles. I figured you guys wanted to see this outside of the bag. So it's very, it's very nice and soft. 
And this says it's a recommended knitting needles, 3.5 to 4.5 millimeters, or so it's the two to four millimeter crochet hook. It's washed cold like 30 degrees Celsius and lay flat to dry. These are made in Bulgaria. And this one's 100% acrylic. It's 430 grams or 200 and, sorry, 2,000 meters. Um, that's more than 2,000 yards, maybe 2,100. And they all come with like a little cool start. And that's about how thick it is. So it's, it's like a three DK weight, almost a four. So yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna make with it. Oh, and the colorway is 209001. I think you can barely see that there, yeah. Those are what those numbers, at least the 209 is definitely the colorway number and you can look it up like that. And then this is what I read to you guys, all that info. So yes, thank you so much, Michi. I will have, um, the link to Michi's YouTube page, Michi's Crochet Nook, in my description box below. If you haven't already seen her channel, please go ahead and check it out. And if you like it, please click like and subscribe. I know she's trying to reach, um, she's close to her 2,000 members, so she's trying to reach that goal. So if you guys haven't subscribed to her and you like her content, please um, subscribe and help her out with that. And... What was the other thing? I think that was my main, my main announcement. Just the thanks and all that. And I'll also have a link to Brenda's shop. And on Brenda, Brenda also has a YouTube page. Sorry, a YouTube channel. And on her channel, she does uh, live streams three times a week where she shows the different yarns that are coming into her shop for that day. Of, uh, and she shows the different Stanley cakes and she answers any questions you may have. Um, so that's really nice of her. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice time. And she also talks about different sales um, going on for different yarn stores um, and discount codes and all that. So I'll also have the information for her shop and her, her YouTube channel in my description box below. And again, if you like the content on my channel, please click like and subscribe. I have a few unboxings that I need to do of Stanley cake orders that I had ordered that I haven't had the chance to show. And I still have some yarn order unboxings that I also need to film as well as other content. So um, thanks so much for watching. Again, if you like the content on my channel, please click like and subscribe. And thanks so much, everyone. Bye.